Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I will show you how to make a 12 volt, 24 volt, 40 ampere motor speed controller circuit, with soft start function. The circuit does not use a microcontroller. It uses the popular LM358 OPM, modulate the PWM pulse to drive the MOSFET. Components on the circuit are mainly resistors and a few capacitors. All the components are easy to find and buy. The speed regulation input can use a rheostat or a Hall effect throttle. Here is a diagram of the circuit connection with peripherals, such as motors and batteries. The circuit is designed to run the battery voltage, from 12 volts to 32 volts, with no problem. There is a place to connect to the battery charger. Input is connected to Hall effect throttle, or potentiometer for speed regulation. Here is the finished circuit I connected to the battery and motor. Let's test how the circuit works. I use a 24 volt, 250 watt motor to test the circuit. I will use this motor to make a small electric car for my kids. I will use a 100 MHz FNERSI 5012H oscilloscope to survey the waveform of the circuit. A good waveform will ensure smooth motor operation, the MOSFETs will not get hot. You can refer to this oscilloscope in the description. Now I will power the circuit. A power LED on the circuit will light up. The oscilloscope shows us, the circuit operates at a frequency of 306 Hz. The power supply for the gate G MOSFET is 14 volts, this helps the MOSFET to work in the best condition and not get hot. The duty cycle of the circuit can vary from 0 to 95%. I notice that the switching circuit is very fast and smooth when I adjust the potentiometer. We have noticed that, even at the lowest duty cycle, the waveform is undistorted and is always at 14 volts. I would power off the circuit, then power it back up. Of course, I will turn the potentiometer at the highest speed. We will see the soft start function of the circuit when power is applied. The circuit worked very well. I will introduce you in detail about the principal diagram and how to adjust the circuit after the sponsor's advertisement. These are custom 3D printed enclosures from a $1 service from JLCPCB. By 3D printing, your enclosure with JLCPCB, you can create a finished product experience for your hardware. Price as low as 7 cents per G. Step 1, upload your 3D files. Upload your CAD file online and select materials to get an instant quote, price starts from $1. Step 2, 3D printing it. Our industrial 3D printers and professional operators will produce your prototypes and end-use parts with the highest quality. Step 3, delivery straight to you. JLCPCB 3D printing service covers a worldwide delivery, we will ship parts to your doors directly from our 3D printing factory. Here is the schematic diagram of the circuit. The circuit uses one IC LM358 with dual open inside. Power transistors help to lower the voltage from 24 volts, 32 volts to 15 volts for the LM358 and speed controller. This is the printed circuit of the circuit, designed on two layers. You can download it in the description.
This is the result after a week of ordering the circuit from JLCPCB. The circuit is very nice in quality, the circuit current can load is 30 ampere. This is a complete circuit with some components such as diode resistors. LM358 is a common IC, you can find it at most electronic circuits or electronic stores. The MOSFET used is a common type such as IRF3205, Z44, 70N80, IRF1405, IRF2804. The diode used is MBR20100 or MBR20200, you can buy the above components from Utsource.net website. Most of the components I use are purchased from there. You can use a 5 kilom potentiometer or Hall effect throttle to adjust the speed of the circuit. This is the official website of Utsource.com. Here you can buy all electronic components, like MOSFET, sensor, transistor diode, DIAC. Most of the components in my video are bought from here, some I reuse from circuits old electronics. You just need to type the part name into the search box, you will have the results and the price immediately. Visit the link in this video description. I will connect the potentiometer to the control circuit. Connection diagram with peripheral devices as above. There is a place on the circuit so you can connect to the battery charger easily. This is the supply voltage for the LM358. Voltage is about 15 volts. This is the triangle waveform generated from the first open. With the amplitude changing when we adjust the potentiometer, through the comparator of the second open, will generate PWM pulses to control the MOSFET, thereby controlling the motor speed. The MOSFET control waveform is very nice and stable. I believe here a motor speed control circuit with low cost but high efficiency. I showed you a motor speed control circuit without using microcontroller. Don't forget to like share subscribe my channel, I'll see you next time.